So hello everyone, welcome again and this is the fourth tutorial for Java Java by Application Development Tutorial Series. So let's summarize the tutorial what we have done till now. So we have done with the complete setup and we have created this uh, this uh, dummy application or uh, the initial application that we going to show a message to the user and we have set up all that maven and mbc architecture things and now let's run it and we will show you how it's working so we already deployed it on the tomcat server you can see the message that we are going to write there is displaying on the home page okay <clears throat> so now let's move to the another tutorial and i'm gonna open again codec.com and here we move to the java web application development so we have done with the technology introduction create maven project and this is the time to create a header and footer to design a header and footer application so uh, for the designing purpose i'm using bootstrap and this is just a css framework that we are going to use and uh, to design the buttons and input box and all the design things so here we are using some uh, header part so this is the simple html code and let's create a file <coughs> under this web folder so <clears throat> and just right click in the web web and create a folder so we are going to use jsp so this will be my jsp folder and this is the complete view part that we are going to use in this java web web folder in this web web folder so let's create some more uh, folders are there images that will contain our image next will be css if we are going to use any custom css we'll keep that css here and also the one more thing is javascript if we are going to use any javascript things we will keep it here now under the jsp let's create a header file so this will be our jsp file so just search here jsp like this let's create a header.jsp also we need a footer file here so let's go to other and again create another jsp file and its name as a footer let's click to finish now we have a footer file, we have a header file, so just change the title. And also we are not going to use this code, so we are going to change, just leave it like this and just move to the index. So now this is only simple files, so we need to write the code there to integrate this. So how you going to add the integrate bootstrap in your project so you there are two way you can directly download the bootstrap library from the internet so you can go and download and you can import that code in the libraries other thing you can use this urls in your header part so automatically uh, it will download or load that libraries so just copy this and And you can paste it under this header part right yes. so these are the scripts <coughs> that's going to load when the header will be going to run on the browser <coughs> the next thing some navigation so we are using this navigation code also you will get this code uh, over the internet uh, also you will get this code uh, over the internet and you can provide the link in the description box so you also can grab it so let's copy it and then try to understand what the things are going to be happening so you can see when we are going to design any 
navigation or any header part we need uh, this code ul tag under the ul tag we are going to use allies so first one will be home feature pricing and disable let's change it amazon home is okay and let's change it login and the next one is registration and contact us and i need one more option which will be our about switch let's keep it as about us this is now i need to include uh, like whenever i'm going to run the project the index.jsp file will be my welcome file so i must need to include the header here so to include this we have to use include tag and will we look like footer if i found some solution over there Okay, this one. so <clears throat> I'm just going to copy this line of code and uh, under the index.html before body, I'm going to use this header. Tag. So now, what happened? The complete code will come, the uh, uh, remaining code will come will from the header.jsp, and we are using this JSP tag and we are going to include this file and this file header.jsp will come under the jsp folder that's why i put this jsp slash header.jsp so now whenever i'm going to run the file run this index.jsp it will load this this the load the header file then it will show the let's run it and check the output So you can see uh, the header is there and right now it's not working it's just designing thing now it's in the similar way I can add a footer there so already we have code so to save the time I'm using this code so you can also use or so this is the simple HTML that we are going to use and so there are two way to create a footer there we can use a custom CSS simple footer also <clears throat> also we are using the JSP and this bootstrap thing so I'm gonna copy this let's let's let's, let's just put it there and <clears throat> in the same way as I include the header and I'm gonna include the footer after the body bar. Now just refresh the page and see the output there. You can see the footer is there. And the footer code is simple. We create a div and where we are using the set that it we had this text and provide a link using anchor tag, provide a link of that particular URL and passing this here. And this is the copyrighted from the okay, no problem. <coughs> so this is the complete designing of header and footer and uh, in the next video we will see how can I uh, navigate this, how, how can we use a navigation, how can we provide the link here for the other pages and how can we design the registration page and login page. We will perform the complete login registration example in detail. So if you don't know the HTML and this thing, bootstrap thing, you need to go, go to Google and you have to prefer the HTML tutorial. You, have to, you can use W3School to prefer the HTML tutorial. So you will understand this, how this HTML tags are working there under the JSP, under the JSP that we are using, at tag, HTML, CSS, body and all that thing. 
and similarly the bootstrap thing and CSS before VSS you should go for CSS tutorial and you can learn also the same thing from the CSS uh, from the W3 school so it will be good and after CSS you need one more thing which is a bootstrap you can use any bootstrap tutorial also just go to bootstrap documentation under this documentation you will get all the things like how can we design the particular things like if, if I talk about the layouts and what kind of layouts I need it will generate the code for example I need a button in bootstrap so <coughs> let me show you how can you grab it bootstrap uh, for example registration page I mean, registration form and bootstrap buttons you can see this is the official side of bootstrap here you can see the same different different designs according to the design the code and classes are there like if you want to use this primary button you can use this line of code secondary button you can use this similarly you can grab it anyway it's really good and other examples also there like if you want to add button group you can use this div <coughs> if you want to use cards <coughs> like this you can use this code that's really cool and you can use that code step to design purpose HTML and CSS you need three things to need you need to th knowledge of these three things like bootstrap CSS and HTML to perform design and also the JSP to use include or exclude features okay so thank you so much for the next video in the next video we are going to navigation and going to register the login in uh, we are going to design the register and login page.